this aircraft has been utilized as to it's just as a trial basis for now for us to see what we need so again this is one of the requirements is that we need to communicate and liaise with the uh, with the medical community to see what their requirements are how many patients we are looking at for certain places what are their payload needs how big is the cargo that they require and so on once we have that information and we can work with that we will adapt it to the aircraft to be able to, to, to define what what kind of weight characteristics, what flight characteristics the aircraft needs to have, and then amend it. Keep testing, you know, do more of more of these type of projects to be able to see what of our risks, you know, is it going to be more efficient? Is it going to be maybe faster or better than a man on a border? Who knows? Once it is successful, we can adopt it for other facilities because it helps us to learn what can we distribute, how much weight can it carry, how much distance can it go, what is the cost of this intervention, can it be replicated in other places. Of course it is very useful here in Kalanga because of the island. It is, is it transport in this doors? And then for the facility. Okay, the landing sites. So we expect our OPD, our patient department, our coverage to increase.